Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. I'm Sue Will. And I'm Andrew. Good morning. And now, with the magic of television, we've changed not only one person, we've divided them into two. Oh, did you just like split the embryo? It's kind of like cellular mitosis. So long as they don't have to share up like brains and stuff. I, and I know it's not that way. <laughs> so, everyone, tell the world who you are. I love the look you just gave me. Wow. <laughs> I'm Sally Priester. I'm the Administrative Director at Huntsville Community Chorus. And I'm Dean Hudson. I'm a board member and a singer uh, with the Community Chorus. Yes. Wonderful. Sally Welcome well. this morning. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sally, I think, I think I've known you at least 25 years. Uh, probably eight or nine of those, yes. I, I think when I first... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She's obviously watched the show before. Oh, I see. Yes, of course, of course. It's great to have you on, on this morning. So what is going on at Community Chorus these days? We're singing, and that is like Impressive. major. <laughs> <laughs> You're singing together, too. Oh, uh, we are the largest fully masked chorus that's not on television. One. Oh, wow. That, um, all our symphonic chorus is about 80 people who came back. They're fully masked. They're socially distanced. <laughs> They're loud. Um, and they're in rehearsal for a concert. And Wonderful. As are our children and our youth. So it's great to be back. Well, tell us about the uh, concert that uh, this will all be a part of. Our next concert, our second concert in two years, will be uh, <coughs> March 3rd. It is called Light and Hope, and that's what it's about, being back in the light. Mm -hmm. We have all left our homes. And uh, the hope for lots of singing in the future. It is at First Baptist. It features all of our choirs, our children, our youth, our treble, and our chamber group, mm -hmm. plus our 80 plus adults. And we have asked Billy Orton and First Baptist Church's choir and orchestra to join us. Wow. So it's a big, as Billy would say, rock in the jar. So how many total people are going to be all on the stage together singing? I mean, it sounds like a huge group. We anticipate probably 180. Okay. Um, they're on the wow. stage, on in the choir loft, dripping off the edges around the corners. <laughs> I mean, they're everywhere. They're dripping <laughs> off. Yes. And Dean and I are usually part of the drip offs, yeah. and we really like that. But um, don't don't course. talk about him like that. I'm sure he's a fine, upstanding gentleman. Please. Yeah, when I'm standing, I'm as short as she is. <laughs> <laughs> on the edges. Um, but that's what it is. We are so looking forward to it. So, at the beginning of our show today, I learned a little bit of the history of the community chorus. Mm -hmm. uh, and Andrew is at an advantage because he knows much more about you guys than mm -hmm. I do. Uh, so, tell me and the world just what the course is. Well, the chorus is uh, actually um, that, a chorus. <laughs> uh, it's in the name. All, uh, uh, and Durr. we have been uh, we're celebrating our uh, 76th mm -hmm. birthday this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the oldest arts program, or performing arts program in Huntsville. Uh, we've got five singing groups, uh, ranging mm -hmm. from tiny children to mm -hmm. the ancient. Uh, <laughs> which I'm now part of. Yeah, we're both, we're both getting close. <laughs> um, and we're furthering uh, singing and education. Uh, we're made up of, uh, it's an all volunteer run organization mm -hmm. as well. So, uh, and has been since day one. So um, our singers range from students to music educators, to uh, doctors, lawyers, uh, rocket scientists, mm -hmm. <laughs> engineers, uh, and mm -hmm. you know, it's a very diverse organization. So this is going to sound like a stupid question. Please feel free. So if someone's watching this right now and they don't think they're that good of a singer, but they're interested in trying, do, do you guys help tutor people along and bring people along or do you have to just be, be able to belt it out right in the door? Oh, double whammy <laughs> question. Uh, well, I think the word community is what defines us. Mm -hmm. If you want to sing, you can sing. 
You can come in. Uh, adults are asked to audition because they would like to know what part of the choir to put you in. Mm -hmm. In the, what, six, seven years I've been working with the chorus, they have only said to one singer, and these are their words, you are not ready to join us. And then one of the directors said, come talk to me. I will mentor you. I will, co I will coach you. Come back in three months. Mm -hmm. And she did. And she sits about four down from me in the choir now. And it was just that she'd never sung in a big group. She didn't quite know how to approach it. So that's all for adults. If you can carry a tune and you don't have to have too many rubber bands on your basket lid, <laughs> you can come <laughs> sing with us. I love y'all. <laughs> now, with children, any child between age six and 18 or even 19, they just have to say, I want to sing, and we will take them. No well, questions can, asked. Can you imagine if there was an unfiltered conversation that was not going to be on TV, what it must sound like? I mean, you heard the two of them talking before, and it's like, this is how they, it's like, ooh, goodness. No, I did not hear y'all talking before. I came at the end of the conversation, and it was a little freaky. <laughs> There's so much fun in the music world, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Very much so. Mm. It's uh, entertaining. Uh, it's fun. Uh, it's stress relieving. <laughs> it's uh, it, depression lifting. Uh, it is. And that's some things that people don't understand uh, about singing, uh, even musical theater. Mm -hmm. It's being part of something and being able to express yourself and relieve some of the, the daily I agree. You know, it's, it's funny, and I tell people all the time, a seeing person is a happy person. I think exactly. you're right. Huh. You're right. So, on our show, mm -hmm. we always ask two questions. And I know you've been in the studio audience for there, so you kind of already have a heads up. So, if life were a stage production, who would your character be? Oh, Princess Winifred from Once Upon a Mattress. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I love y'all. I love y'all. Seriously, <laughs> she's she's funny. She doesn't have to dance really well, and I can't dance. And and she gets to fall off a really big bunch of mattresses. I, I, I was going to say, so are you, are you like Carol Burnett inside or something? Is that what Probably, it is? Probably. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> so what would your character be? <laughs> Which is really strange. Uh, when I was in college, mm -hmm. uh, I actually was Princess Winifred's prince. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, uh, oh, boy. But any of the uh, character-wise, I probably would be the court gesture or uh, <laughs> some sort of comic relief. I'm right there with you on that. So. I understand. Well, I have a question, too, for you. I would like to know, Sally, mm. what is your favorite Broadway musical? <gasps> Kinky Boots. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Um, I was in New York one time and did one of those, what ticket can I get? Yes. Routine. Sure. And when you just buy one ticket, you're generally in the third row. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I saw Billy Porter's last performance. Oh, oh wow. What a moment. And it was wow. great. And when it was over, he spent like 20 minutes out front just singing and talking. And I thought I had died and gone to theater heaven. <laughs> He is truly a force of nature. That is he for is. sure, Mr. Billy Porter, yes. yes. Well, Dean, i got to ask you the same question. What's your favorite Broadway musical? Um, two. Pirates of Penzance was the, the first, I don't know whether it classifies as, okay. as Broadway, but, uh, but a chorus line. Okay. Okay. Very good. Really hope you make it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. Hi. So I, we got to come back. One thing we got to talk about real quick, if you don't mind, please mention the course's website and how to get tickets for the next concert. The chorus website is thechorus.org. I love it. I oh, love wow. It. Yeah. yeah. It's really easy. Well, it's like, how did you manage to get that? <laughs> yes. I will ask Engineers. him later. <laughs> Engineers made that happen. And that's the best place to buy tickets and get information. You can always contact us through thechorus.org. Excellent. Most excellent. It was a great pleasure to have you both on today. It Thank was, you. I, Thank you. I love y'all. Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> so with all that said, we're going to cut to a break, hit the community calendar, and we will be back in just a few minutes. See and you there may or may not be somebody right here. <laughs>